Uh, hello friends, uh, just check this picture. This is a computer generated figure and you can use computer graphics to uh, you know modify pictures. This is a software which actually shares the picture and there sometimes you can even project the picture on a screen and you can turn the picture to by any angle you want. I wish to explain to you how to use to turn a picture. Now this software uh, this matrix which we are going to use is the matrix which we did in class cos 5 minus sin 5 actually it's minus sin 5 then sin 5 and cos 5. Now imagine we have a point so that's minus okay and imagine you have a point x comma y at any point and that x comma y we are going to multiply it with this matrix A. So here we have x comma y and as I multiply this, this is going to give me x cos phi, correct? This, uh, this matrix is called as a rotation matrix uh, because it's going to rotate. So as I multiply, I'm going to get x cos phi minus y sine phi and the other coordinate is x sine phi plus y cos phi. Phi. So let's see what exactly happens uh, when you multiply x, y with this rotation matrix. Uh, for illustration, if I take uh, cos 90, phi as 90, minus sine 90, sine 90, and cos 90. And let's take any point. So this, uh, when I put the values, I'm going to get 0 minus 1, 1 and 0. So this is supposed to rotate the coordinate by 90 degrees. Let's see how exactly this happens. Uh, so I have this and I'm going to multiply it with x comma y. As I multiply this, the x into 0 minus y, I get a minus y there and down x into 1 plus 0, I get x here. So you will observe that the x, y has now changed to minus y and x. Uh, let's take an example for x and y. Say x is 1, y is 2. So that's a point. And now this is 0, minus 1, 1, 0. I'm going to multiply this. And as I multiply this, this becomes minus 2 and 1. Graphically, let us see what's going to happen. I have the coordinate system, I have the x-axis and the y-axis. Now consider the point 1, 2. So that's the point 1, 2. Let me erase the other point that is not required for us. So yeah, that's erased. So I have 1, 2. Uh, now I'm going to make this transform. So, so this is like uh, one unit and this is two units. So that's the point in question. Now when I multiply, this is going to become minus 2 comma 1. So where is minus 2 comma 1? Yes, here it is. So minus 2 comma 1 means this vector has moved from 2 by 90 degrees. So this has rotated by that angle, an angle of 90 degrees because we took phi as 90. Now the angle 5 can be any angle we desire. So as we keep on changing the angle, you keep on getting a different transform. So we changed the 1 comma 2 to minus 2 comma 1. Now let us see you have say the x axis and the y axis in which I have a small house here. Now each of these points have a certain coordinate system. Uh, so these dots which I show, they represent the x and y coordinate system. Now the x and y coordinate system can be represented in the form of a huge matrix with a lot of numbers. It can have 2 comma 0 and various numbers. Each of these dots are represented in the form of a matrix. Now, once we have this matrix, we are ready to multiply this with any angle we want. 
uh, I am going to just take phi as 60 degrees. So if I take phi as 60 degrees, I am going to get cos of phi as root 3 by 2, sin of phi as minus half. So I have here root 3 by 2. Let me show it here. I have root 3 by 2. Then I have a minus half. Then below I have half and cos phi is root 3 by 2. So these are the four numbers with which we are going to multiply our matrix. So as I multiply this, I am going to get a totally new set of coordinate axis, coordinate points. Now if we were to plot all these points again on the graph, we are going to see that this house is now rotated by 60 degrees because we took phi as 60 degrees. So keeping phi as whatever angle we want, we will always get a new set of points. Now as you rotate it, now phi can be taken as any value we want, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 50 degrees or whatever we want. So this is a very, very powerful tool to actually rotate any figure to whatever we want. Uh, thank you for watching.